morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin channel, YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Zidi, and today, streaming from this amazing place here on my roof with the beautiful sea view, talking about the Bitcoin charts. TA video, yes, you are waiting for this already for a couple of days. I have six, six, six amazing charts. Let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening today in Bitcoin. Yeah. First one. Now, this, of course, yes, like you used, is a four hour chart. On the four hour chart, I use the bam bam indicator that tells me when to buy and when to sell. The green flags is buying, the red flags is selling. Works perfectly. Then we have the purple triangle that showed me a lot of volume, and the yellow ones confirm that we are going to see a definite low. The yellow stepping line, it needs to close down below it before we go into the short. So, flag. Closing down with the yellow stepping line, short over there, we see the red line on top, we see the yellow starting, we see the blue line crossing the white line for confirmations of that we need to take a short. That's how the band band works. So the four hour waiting for a long, and the bottom will be the Bollinger Band, uh, 22,597 at the moment. Um, let's see if we can hold that region because, bam, if we zoom out to the day channel, I've been telling you guys, we are in the um, higher highs lower low channel this was again a lower low um we went up we didn't create a new higher high but we are going sideways this must not close a daily candle down below that level so to be very clear uh, yep, line we must not close a daily candle down below that level why because if we close down below this level then this would be a lower low. That would mean that this huge run came to an end. So we are going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. This up is not a huge peak. And then the second green should have been higher up to here. We didn't reach that. That We can see that we already are forming a small round top instead of another higher high. So support, if this is not support, we can go to the orange line over there for support. We can see the chart has mixed feelings here in the MACD as well. You can see it, red, green, green, red. Now, if you want to have access to these indicators, go to the bitcoinfamily.com. On the BitcoinFamily.com, you will find all the information, guys. My internet is not working pretty well at the moment, but on the Bitcoin Family, you will find everything about uh, the indicators and all that stuff. Uh, just go there, the BitcoinFamily.com, and you will find everything. My website is not working correctly because my internet here is terrible. Now, if we zoom out to the weekly, guys, on the weekly, we can see that we are still acting around that 200 weekly moving average. The 200 weekly moving average is at 22,877. We are at 22,960. We should be, um, it's all the other way around, guys. The, the two, 22 is at around 22,960, and we are at 879. And we need to close this candle at four days and 18 hours above that 200 weekly moving average. That is the most positive part. If we don't do that, yes, there is this huge gap that we can fall again all the way into that orange line over there. And that one is 19,870. So that is what we need to do in the weekly. Stay above that red line. I have amazing charts going up, coming up, guys. Uh, so keep on hanging in there. Keep on a few more minutes. We have some cool, 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 cool charts. <clears throat> Monthly I've been talking about that for a long time. The only important part is these green things bars over there that is the moment that the 12 monthly crossed the 21 monthly and every time when the 12 monthly crossed the 21 monthly we have seen a bottom in the bitcoin price here here and here probably as well the monthly is closing in, in 21 days so yes the bottom can be a little bit lower because it's a monthly candle in this month we can see movement so this candle can come down below the 200 weekly average again and close a little bit lower that is all possible so yes these lower scenarios like 16 17k 18k are possible but for me i don't see the 12k happening for me that that area now is going to be a huge area of support 
Now, if you want to trade all this with the Bambit indicator or yourself, then do use the referral links down below the videos. Bybit gives you up to $4,100 bonus, a 30% fee discount, and a free access to the Bit Launchpad. And they are going to do a new launch this week, so make sure you don't miss on a free Bit launch. Um, Apex is the, I think, the decentralized exchange that everybody needs to access uh, for the next bull run because it's completely decentralized. You connect it to your own wallet, but you can also trade with leverage, a leverage of 10, which is amazing. So make sure you use those links now. Let's jump into some amazing other charts guys um, that are these charts over bam here this is the first one this one um, i found on twitter um, this one is not comparing the 12 and the 21 this one is comparing the 50 and the 100 weekly moving average so that's almost the same um, but then 12 21 and this one 50 100 this one is saying every time when we see the dead cross here that is when the Bitcoin market bottom is in, the bear market bottom. Dead cross, bear market bottom. We are going to see that dead cross, and that should be the bear market bottom. So this one is saying as well, we could go maybe lower, or we could go sideways, and then it's the bear market bottom. Because if you look very closely to the chart, here, the moment that we crossed, we already had one dip, and then we got, went up, a little bit sideways but this dip was a little bit higher than the previous one so we already had the bottom here exactly at the cross we had already the real bottom this one was again a little bit light higher you see so here again probably we already had that bottom and now this next dip is going to be a little bit higher in my opinion but that's what i see on this chart now then i have another chart of kelly kelham and um, I'm going to do a video cool, uh, soon with him together because uh, yeah, we have the same mindset and view on charts mostly. Now, um, this chart is really cool. It shows you all the macro trend bands. So that means the short term uh, cost basic, this one is, it is the pinkish line area. Uh, now we have the macro floor, that's the one I'm talking about, the 200 weekly moving average. We have the asymmetric uh, risk buy zone, that's that green line. If we touch that, then maybe you should sell your house, your wife, your kids, everything else, and go all in. Uh, and we have the realized price, and that's a darker green line, and that's exactly the line that we are above at the moment. I think this is very positive because when the green line is above that, uh, uh, the darker green line above that orange line, that is mostly look here at this period where it happened we go and do these runs uh, on, on creating higher higher new all-time highs and everything so let's see if we can stay above it um, or climb above it that's what i mean and then stay above it again with the line now then we have this chart guys very interesting chart like um oop, i need to make my face a little bit smaller this chart shows you um, kind of the, the stages we could be as an investor. So we have the innovative stage, the 2.5% that accesses Bitcoin and thinks, oh, this could be very cool in the future. Then we get the early adopter phase eh, when the other 13.5% of the world steps into it and thinks, yeah, this is uh, going to have a future. No, that, that's the whole run from 2013 to 2024. That's when the halving will, you know, and that's when the majority... 34% will also enter the Bitcoin uh, phase from there to 2030. So this is the point where we are at the moment. If you look back, then normally we to touch the top line there, you see? This time we didn't touch the top line. Is there a chance we still touch the top line? The chance is there, but it's very small. But then it should be happening this year very quickly, up to the top, come to the bottom, bottom out, and then in the 2024 halving we go up again just like always when there was a halving we go in the halving here there was a halving period you see top down and during the halving up again here same top in the halving up again now that could happen but the chance is really small but even though i don't think we will break this level here so we will go up a little bit sideways come down again maybe and go up just like this move over here top bottom run again bottom bull run top bottom run again bottom bull run something like that now and that is what you can see on this chart oh that one is very small at the moment can i, well, I increase i increased it i found this also on twitter um 
I need to check who it is that posted this one. I really liked it. Uh, ah, here in the top left, guys, you can see it. And uh, this one is X or strategy.com um, he, he created these beautiful uh, circles uh, with the black lines where he says this is the bear zone and the bull zone and every time this pinkish area is the bear zone and then we go into green area the bull zone and if you look at the circles these circles they cross each other at this top every time you see every time at the top Now I'm already here in 2030, I think something. So um, we are at the moment at this point. So if it is up to this chart, yes, again, we could be at the bottom at the moment, and then it will take some time in this bear zone, and then we will go into this greenish bull zone, and that will be again a line all the way up to the crossing um, of those two circles, which is then around 150k, and that's in 2025. And then we have the next one over there, which will be, I think, around 2030, will be 270k. So this is a very cautious Bitcoin bull run chart that uh, is, is predicting that Bitcoin can go all the way to 400k in, uh, in one, two, three more bull zones. But it would mean that the bottom will increase as well to 22k to 69k. To 150k can you imagine a bottom of bitcoin of 150k now yes i can know and here you're calculating already wow then i would be a millionaire <laughs> yes you probably would be if you just buy bitcoin every day stack sets huddle them for a long time and at the end bitcoin maybe can go above a million per bitcoin but also it can stuck get stuck around to 300k 400k per bitcoin which also at the moment is 20 times your capital which is a shitload of money so i would indeed at the moment buy the bottom if we dip more buy a little bit more if you think that bitcoin will go to 100k or 200k then you should be selling everything you have go all in and enjoy life to the fullest on the beach while you see your capital growing in the next two three years beautiful moment thanks you for watching if you did enjoy this video a short ta view then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification and leave a comment what do you think about these charts do you love them as well i need to stop because yoga class is starting in 30 minutes so i still need to edit the video thanks for watching use the links see you tomorrow again bam